I grew up in a Protestant church, mm -hmm. uh, Southern Baptist. Southern Baptist, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, um, from the time I was born, basically, my parents raised me in a Baptist church. Mm -hmm. When I was 16, uh, my cousin's family had converted, mm -hmm. and there was this conference he was going to called Steubenville Conference, uh, okay. Steubenville South. He called me up, and they just did their confirmation two weeks prior to that. Mm -hmm. um, so he called me up and was like, hey, I'm going to this with the youth group I don't really know. Do you want to come with me? Like, sure, whatever. So, um, I'd only been to Mass one time before my whole life. And you were going to a Steubenville conference. A Steubenville conference, right, right. So uh, this is a shocker for you. Right, the only Catholic experience I had was I was in the Boy Scouts and everybody else was Catholic. <laughs> um, uh, growing up in my school, um, I was one of three Protestants in the whole class, everybody else was Catholic. Okay. So, from elementary school, I had a bad view of Catholics because none of my good friends were good Christians. They were Catholic, right? yeah. They were Catholic and they didn't go in their faith. Sure. So, um, even being Protestant, there was this whole anti-Catholic mindset. Mm -hmm. Well, so, go to the student conference knowing only my cousins and my aunt who was also helping out. Um, <laughs> it opened up um, my view, I guess you could say. The conference. The conference, right. Yeah. Um, actually meeting people who are Catholic who love Jesus yeah. and who actually knew who Jesus was. Yeah. Um, it was a, it was a shocker. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Went home, went to my aunt's house. She gave me a book uh, called Eucharistic Miracles. Okay. By John Cruz. Okay. Uh, ate that up. Yeah. Um, read it within, I think I finished it one day. I finished it like within five or six hours. When I was 17, uh, made the decision, um, I want to be Catholic. And why, and why was that specifically? Was it because of the Eucharistic miracles or the Eucharist? It was the Eucharist. It was the Eucharist. Was, right. Yeah. Um, like I said, I grew up in a Christian home, but it just wasn't, it's always that little bit missing. The, the fullness. The fullness, right. Yeah. Um, experiencing the Eucharist, um, being in a conference center yeah. with 6,000 other people yeah. and having the Lord himself walk around, there. All, the, all those people and then just come sit right next to me. Yeah. It's just overwhelming. Um, first time I ever really experienced, because I always say I had a relationship with Jesus, mm -hmm. uh, but I never really said that I had uh, an intimate experience with Jesus. Mm -hmm. And it was shaking. That's awesome. Thank you.